Hi everyone. Now we are in week five of our distance learning and we should all be on lesson 134, correct? Okay, we're gonna do the exact same thing as if we were in the classroom, okay? We're gonna do our vocabulary review, our word attack, our passage, our story, and then our individual work, okay? The same thing still applies. We're still gonna do the student teacher point, okay? I'm gonna tell you when you get your points and how many you are going to receive. Are we ready? Let's get started. Today's vocabulary sentence is, police officers check the ship's cargo. Everybody say that sentence. Get ready. Now, I'm gonna say a word of the sentence. When I stop, you say the word that follows. Okay, police, everybody, what word is next? Get ready. Officers, listen, police officers check the ships. Everybody, what word comes after that? Get ready. Cargo, everybody say that sentence. Get ready. Give yourself two points if you said the sentence correctly. Now, we're going into word attack. Everybody, find lesson 134 in your textbook. Touch column one. Word one is ancient. Everybody, what word? Spell ancient for me. Get ready. Things that are ancient are very, very old. Ancient rocks are rocks formed millions of years ago. An ancient city is a city that was formed thousands of years ago. What word means very, very old? Ancient. Word two is mammoth. What word? Spell mammoth for me. Get ready. Word three is throne. What word? Spell throne for me. Get ready. Word four. What word is it? Get ready. Spell bowl for me. Get ready. Word five, what word? Word six, what word? Now, let's read those words the fast way. Are we ready? Okay, word one, what word? Word two, what word? Word three, what word? Word four, what word? Word five, what word? Word six, what word? Give yourselves three points if you said all of those words correctly. Now, let's find column two. Touch word one. All of these words have more than one syllable. The first syllable of each word is underlined. Word one, what's the first syllable? What's the whole word? Word two, what's the first syllable? What's the whole word? Word three, what's the first syllable? What's the whole word? Word four, what's the first syllable? What's the whole word? Word five, what's the first syllable? What's the whole word? Word six, what's the first syllable? What's the whole word? Now, let's read those words again, but this time the fast way. Are we ready? Word one, what word? Word two, what word? Word three, what word? Word four, what word? 
five would work. Word six would work. Give yourself two points if you said all of those words correctly. Now, let's go to column three. All of these words have endings in them. Word one, what's the word? Word two, what's the word? Word three, what's the word? Word four, what's the word? Word five, what's the word? Word six, what's the word? All right, we're gonna say those again, the fast way this time. Are we ready? Okay, word one, what word? Word two, what word? Word three, what word? Word four, what word? Word five, what word? Word six, what word? Give yourself three points if you said all of those words correctly. Now, let's go to column four. All of these words have endings with ed. Word one, what's the word? Word two, what's the word? Word three, what's the word? Word four, what's the word? Now, let's say those words the fast way. You ready? Okay. Word one, what word? Word two, what word? Word three, what word? Word four, what word? Excellent. Give yourself two points if you said all of those words correctly. Now, find part B in your textbook. Everybody, touch the title. Everybody, what's the title? Get ready. Inventing. Let's follow along. You live in a world that is filled with things that are made by humans. In this world are cars and airplanes and telephones and books. There are chairs and tables and stoves and dishes. There are thousands of things that you use every day. Each of these things was invented. That means that somebody made the object for the first time. Now, when a person invents something, what does the person do? Everybody get ready. Makes the object for the first time. Give yourself two points if you set the answer. The person who made the first automobile invented the automobile. The person who made the first television invented the television. Remember, when somebody makes an object for the first time, the person invents that object. The object the person makes is called the invention. The first airplane was an invention. The first telephone was an invention. Everybody, what do we call the object that is made for the first time? Get ready. Invention. Now, when a person makes that object for the first time, what do we say the person did? Everybody get ready. Invented the object. Now, name some things that were invented. Everybody get ready. Cars are automobiles, right? Television, airplanes, right? A lot of things were invented. Let's continue. Everything that is made by humans was invented by somebody. At one time, there were no cars, light bulbs, or glass windows. People didn't know how to make these things because nobody had invented them yet. Most of the things that you use every day were invented after the year 1800. Here are just some of those things that people did not have before 1800. Trains, trucks, cars, airplanes, bicycles, telephones, radio, 
television, movies, tape recorders, computers, electric appliances like washing machine, toasters, refrigerators, or dishwashers. Everybody, most of these things were used every, we use every day were invented after what year? Get ready. 1800. Now, name some of the things you wouldn't have if you lived before 1800. Everybody get ready. Right, we wouldn't have trains, trucks, cars, airplanes, bicycles, television, refrigerators, all of those things, right? We wouldn't have any of them. Everyone, find part C in your textbook. Everybody, touch the title. Everybody, what's the title? Get ready. Eric and Tom meet the king. Let's follow along. Tom and Eric were in a huge palace. Tom had just convinced the old man with the golden sun that Tom was a sun god. The old man was holding his hand over the sun and saying, Anku Uru. Then the old man lifted the golden sun from around his neck and held it out for Tom. The old man bowed and said, Ura, Ura. Eric said, I think he wants you to have the golden sun. Tom didn't want to take the sun, but the old man seemed to insist that he take it. The sun was so heavy that Tom wondered how the old man could walk around with it hanging from his neck. Just as Tom put the chain around his neck, one of the guards handed him a pillow with a large gray cat sitting on it. Eric said, they think cats have special powers. Tom felt silly with a large sun around his neck as he held the pillow with a gray cat on it. Eric said, I don't know about you, but I'm very hungry. Tom said, me too. He handed the cat to the guard. Then he snapped his fingers. Eat, eat, Tom said, and pretended to eat. Everybody, show me how you will pretend to eat. Let's do it. Let's continue. Hemstru, the soldier said smiling. Hemstru, the soldier ran from the room and down the hall. Now, do you think the soldier knew what Tom wanted? Yes, right? Suddenly, many people came into the room. They were carrying all kinds of food. Tom looked at all of the food in front of him. He saw a large bowl. It had milk in it. Tom said, I'll bet it's goat milk. Eric tasted it. He made a face. It's warm, he said. Why don't they have cold milk? Now, everybody, think about that question. Why don't they have cold milk? Hmm. because they have no refrigerators. Give yourself three points if you came up with that answer. Let's follow along. Tom said, their milk isn't cold because they, they don't have any way to keep it cold. Nobody had refrigerators until after the year 1800. Now, that year is 5,000 years in the future from these people, okay? You have to remember that. Let's continue. Tom and Eric ate and ate. Then the old man took Tom and Eric to their room. Tom put his flashlight in his pocket and went to sleep. In the morning, the old man took the boys to a great room at the end of the hall. Inside the room, a young man sat on a throne. The throne was made of gold and silver. Everybody, look at the picture. What is the young man sitting on? Everybody get ready. A throne, give yourself two points if you said a throne. What is the old man doing in the picture? Everybody get ready. 
bowing. Give yourself one point if you said bowing. Now, which one do you think is the king, the old man or the young man? Everybody get ready. The young man. Let's continue. Eric said, that young man must be the king. Hurrah, uhu, ho, the king said. His voice was sharp. Now, what I want you to do is that I want you to say that. Hurrah, uha, hu, like the king said, in a sharp voice and mean voice. Are you ready? Firm. Okay, let's continue. Tom and Eric walked to the throne. The king stood up and walked to the window in the room. He pointed to the sunlight that was coming through the window. Sa u haru, he said. Then he pointed to Tom. Umo ha ahu. Now, what did the king do at the window? Everybody get ready. He pointed to the sunlight. Give yourself two points if you said he pointed to the sunlight. Everybody. Then who did he point to? Get ready. Tom. Give yourself one point if you said Tom. Now, what is he trying to say to Tom? What do you think that he's trying to say when he is speaking in his language? Hmm. Maybe he wants him to take out his flashlight to turn it on, right? Okay. Tom knew what the king wanted. Tom pointed the flashlight at the king and pressed the button on the flashlight. But nothing happened. The flashlight did not go on. Tom pressed the button again. The outcome was the same. Everybody, what does that mean? The outcome was the same. Get ready. That nothing happened or that the flashlight did not go on. Give yourself two points if you said either or of those answers. Let's continue. I saw Uhuk, the king said. He snapped his fingers and two soldiers came forward. One of them grabbed Tom and the other grabbed Eric. The king grabbed the flashlight from Tom's hand and threw it to the floor. It smashed. Tom looked at the flashlight. Then he looked up into the face of the king. The king looked very, very mean. Okay, now what happened to the flashlight? Everybody get ready. The king got it. And then what did the king do to the flashlight? Everybody get ready. He threw it on the floor, right? And it smashed. Now, the king snapped his fingers and said, Aso uhu. What happened after that? Everybody get ready. Two soldiers came, right? Give yourself two points if you said two soldiers came. Now, what do you think aso uhuk means? Think about that one. Hmm. Maybe it means grab them. Maybe it means come here, right? More next time. Okay, so what I want you to do now is that I want you to go back to the beginning of the story and reread the story all to yourself. Now, this is this is the thing that I want you to do. I want you to time yourself, okay? And then write it down on your sheet of paper, on your worksheet, where it says, Miss O, it took me 18 minutes to reread the story, okay? Because remember, if I see that on your sheet of paper, on your paper, I'm gonna give you extra points. Okay, now we go reread and then we work on our individual work where it's the questions and the worksheet. Okay, 
I'll see you next time. Bye.